presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Either live in love or live in fear, folks. I've done both. A lot easier living in love, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 447. NASDAQ down 290. S&P's down 68. Gold contract flat. 18.14 an ounce. Silver up 69 cents, $23.61 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2.85.91 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 26 ticks, trading 127.11. The 30 year down a full point, plus 21 ticks at 153.22 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 458 ticks. There we go. Trading out there at 95,716. Euro is at 113, the yen is at 114.63, and the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we've had a down market all day. When you take a look at the indices, what you have out here, You got the NASDAQ uh, trading down 1.9%. You get the S&Ps down uh, 1.2 and the Dow's down 1.2. That being said, you're coming into the, the lowest swing the, from last week. The lowest, that lowest swing had a, had a low. Well, you, you get two, two different ones, actually. But I'm going to use the lowest swing from last week. That's the last swing point that we have, and it's already rejected lower price. So we went to uh, that swing point there. The low is 456.59. There are 119 million shares traded. We made it to 455.46. You rejected lower price. I expect what you're going to see as as we come into this close, USH. Let's go look at this and see what we're thinking here. So you had a low of 45.61. You're 24 points off of that low right now. It's the first time that we got a bid all day long. Well, you actually got a couple. You got a, you got a couple actually. But that lasted all of 10, 20 minutes. Okay, so now the question is, yeah, we still got to sell it. See, this is interesting here. So so look at this, folks. So the last swing point there was on the E-minis. Had 31,000 contracts. We could just get up there with 29,000. So that's not bad, but watch the next bar of the sell. So you get 29, and then all of a sudden we went up to 33. And that was the sell down from the 45.95, and now we're at 45.84 again. I suspect what we're going to see here, though, is that you're going to grind into and it's going to try to get into somewhere above 4603. So I suspect that that would be uh, getting you up another 15 points from where we are. We'll see how that baby shakes out. NDX 100. We take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs have the same type of setup. Um, the difference is that you have not got any, any type of rejection of price on the three Qs. Uh, we the low is 371.11 today. You're at 372.56. You do have a you know less volume, but the bottom line is that you don't have a rejection of lower price out here. Gold gold contract caught a bid out here. You know rejected lower price at the uh, 1804. You've done 346,000 contracts. Uh, bottom line, 
this thing is looking for a higher price. You rejected the uh, 1804. Um, you know, this, this wants, the next swing point there is 1881. My take, it wants 1925. If we go into the silver contract, you're going to see silver, um, even when gold was down at that 1802, uh, silver bottom line was taken off like a rocket ship. So t silver took out the consolidation and... You got plenty of volume on, on the takeout here. We got over 100,000 contracts right now. So as to say, with the silver is happening at uh, 2554 is your next swing up. That's, you, you're blown this uh, way 20, let's see, 23. Yeah, cool. So we're, we're 200 points right now, 200 ticks rather, uh, over the consolidation. That's saying that they, that thing wants higher price. Now, King Dollar is not cooperating. The King Dollar, Got a, you know, King Dollar last week, it broke its consolidation. Now, this can be real classic. And what the classic would be, of course, is that you go up to where you broke. Okay, so picture. And this isn't, you know, this is not scientific, by the way, okay? Technical analysis is, uh, you know, a probability business. So the break of the dollar last week was 95,625. We're 100 points over that right now. And, and when I say that, you know, that's why, like, okay, where do you put this line? You know, you know it's a consolidation, but, you know, you get a lower part of 95,515, and then you could even go up about as high as 95,894, okay? Bottom line, we'll see how this shakes out. Thus far, it really hasn't rejected lower price as it got to higher price. Notes and bonds, you take a look at notes and bonds, <clears throat> that's what's moving markets out here today, there's no doubt. You have notes as well as bonds break their low, and let's see, we more than likely get an ABC structure on the way down. And this is where the ABC structures really work well, meaning, yeah, it's an ABC down. Okay, so the 10 year just, uh, we went 131.19, to 127.30, so you got, one, so four and a half points, that's gonna bring you to 124, about 124, right now we're 127, so that's gonna be a big move still. We're gonna take a look at the 30 year, the way the 30 year is set up, I suspect this is gonna be an ABC down too. Okay, so you broke this swing point. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is an ABC down too. So you got 163.19, and okay, it's 154. So we get nine bucks. That's going to bring us to 140. Let's say call it 148, and we're at 153. So this is going to put some more damage uh, into the marketplace, man. I mean, because you know people, uh, you know, are looking at these rates and how fast they've gone up. We'll see where the whole rest of it shakes out, but there, there's no doubt that they had some big movement. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities in this marketplace. You had Microsoft take, uh, taking over Activision. Activision's up seventeen and a half dollars. We got uh, let's see, AMC's down a buck sixty. Look at this, AMC's at eighteen ninety five, making its way to three dollars. You got Nvidia down nine bucks. That's trading at two sixty. That's that's in, that's in trouble. JP Morgan, that's out 657. That's a big hit. 154.34. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm at Mr. Basil Chapman. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down to 532. You get the Nasdaq down 348. S&Ps are down 80. This is going after its lows right now. So uh, bottom line is that you get uh, 50, uh, 45 minutes to see where this baby's going to go. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under the featured content. You just hit it right on the left-hand side. You can hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Check it out. You like it. You keep it. For some reason, it doesn't work for you folks. You can get your money back. Bottom line, Basil also has there an outstanding array of webinars that he's done. Over, over 10 webinars. So if you really want to understand how you ride the Chapman wave, how you're looking at the marketplace, it comes with the newsletter. Check it out. Hit that banner on TFNN. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good, thank you. Yeah, this is very interesting. And the patterns that we look at, look at last Tuesday, remember when we spoke in the interview, I said this particular pattern that for me is something that I'm keeping my subscribers to my opening call uh, cognizant of. And that is the dreaded H pattern, the lowercase h, which says that it comes down sharply. If it rallies and then at a peak A or a peak B, it turns around and rolls over and takes out the left side low. Okay. You've got to be very careful. I call it the dreaded H in red because if it does do that, it can continue down, and that's usually an omen to say just be really careful. And look what's happened on Friday. It, it just nicked the left side, 35,639 level in the Dow. And today we're down 532 at 35,379. Day is young. You never know these days what can happen in the last hour. But so far what we're looking at is that the price is underneath, quite substantially actually, underneath the left side low of, I think it was January the 10th, and we have formed that arch formation at a peak, A becomes an A minus, and that just says, in this particular chart, in this particular time frame, that's the daily time frame, be careful because you've had a confirmation of a sell signal that's gone to a sell mode. That is just descriptive. It doesn't say, oh my God, sell mode means that you're going, it doesn't say you're going down to anything. It just says, that is the 
uh, the nomenclature that you can give it right now that it has already reached a sell mode. And if you had to do a one to one to the downside, you've got a little bit more to go and then you get your one to one to the downside. But look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart says, hey, we've been here many times before underneath the 14 period moving average. We're in a rising channel at this particular point. But what is happening is that the technicals are starting to deteriorate. But at this particular point, unlike the uh, daily chart where the nine period uh, on Friday was really close to crossing negative, today it has crossed negative. So that's a confirmation of the daily sell mode. The, the weekly, I have to wait until Friday before I can give any determination as to where we are. It does look technically like this nine period will at some point go under the 14, but you don't want to anticipate it. Hasn't done it yet. So far, that's good. And if you look at that monthly chart, remember last week I was talking to you about this Japan Wave inside track repellent zone that yes. we hit it. We hit it in the daily, then we hit it in the weekly, and the same price point hit the lower trend line in the monthly. So these are all things just to say, be careful. There's a rotational market going on here. Uh, we saw that on Friday, suddenly there was this, that big move up in the semiconductor index. Uh, and yet that was just one of those fake moves because today's down sharply. And to me, this is a bit of an indicator for semiconductors. And I've been warning subscribers that this is an area you've got to be really careful of. At 295, any time in the next two weeks, if we see a close under 285, I think that says that Overall, the best index uh, to date is starting to weaken. Therefore, you've got to be careful. So I've got, you know, I've got the benchmarks to look at, and you know, when even when you look at the XLF, which was doing really nicely because rates were going higher, and usually the financials they like when the rates are higher. It's not the only thing, but it's one of the things that's important. So now we've got a peak E in the XLF. Uh, it, well, that's, it's so interesting there that, yeah, the, there's a disconnect in the aspect that the financials, you know, J.P. Morgan and Goldman are getting smoked. So it's really so, intriguing that, you know, we got rates going up and they're, they're spread, folks, between the amount of money that's in the bank versus what, you know, is going to be paid on it. You know, goes Actually, up dramatically. Me, when you talk about the spread, let me see if I can do this quickly. Okay, this is the so I'm, what I'm pulling up here. You'll see it come up in a moment. This is the weekly. Uh, the 30-year, the 10-year, and the 5-year yields. And then on the right, you'll see Wood, which is the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF. And then the bottom one, you'll see the HGX, which is the Philadelphia Housing Index. So here we go. So because the 30-year yield made a lower low in that move that went down to, uh, what was that, 1.678, the week of the 3rd of December, this move that broke out to a new high is actually new leg A. Now that's, you say, oh my God, A. It should still go to A, peak B, peak C, and D, but it's only just started the A. That can fail because it's under the previous major high. But look at the breakout of the yields considering uh, considering where we were and where we've come from, this is a very big move in like a single leg going for one to three, for about, about nine or 10 weeks. If you look at the 10-year yield, that's also risen very sharply and, and the five-year is even, even uh, higher. So this squeeze of the yields uh, is basically is telling uh, investors that, you know, for not that much difference, you don't have to go all the way to a 30-year. You can go to a 10-year. Um, not that you're getting the same year, but you're getting a really good um, risk-reward in the sense that you don't have to go out an extra 20 years. Sure. So that just says to me that the conflict that we're looking at in the market, and one of the reasons why I think the market is still uh, pulling back, and uh, I've been talking about this for some time now, that the QQQ, the NDX 100, which in a sense is tied to the semiconductor index, um, that rotation can go on for a little while longer because if we do get some kind of a consolidation in the semis, it means that you can start to see some stabilization in some of the very weakest 
uh, NASDAQ stocks that we're doing fantastically. And that's why I've said to subscribers to my opening call, we, we've raised cash. Let's keep raising cash because at some point, some of these fantastic winners that just took a 30, 40, 50 percent dive are going to be good buys. So you want to have money, you know, money ready. So I don't think you need to you know, just tear your hair out and say, what on earth is happening to the market? Because it is rotational. And, you know, we've had uh, MRO, which is Marathon Oil, for a little while on the long side. And we've gotten from the 1730 area. And here is a 19.51. So there are places that have been working very nicely. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right into featured content. You see the opening call. You just hit that subscribe button. And I heard it's been a little cold up there. <laughs> it has been cold. <laughs> you have a great one, safe one, Basil. Look forward Thank to the show you, tomorrow. Tom. Thank you, you man. Too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 520. You get the NASDAQ off 342. S&Ps are off uh, 80. We go inside the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. And what you have out here right now, we're down 526. Goldman is putting the most negative points in. That's putting 171 negative points. Microsoft, 46. JP Morgan, 42. Uh, the only one that has, uh, well, there's a few that, uh, you have Visa putting nine points in. Caterpillar, fives. Chevron, two. Uh, if we go over to Microsoft, Microsoft is buying Activision uh, on, a, on a cash deal. Uh, Microsoft, bottom line is that this is pressing lows with volume. Uh, so this is going to get really intriguing. The spike low that was out here was 304, and uh, 
me see this for a second. So you're thrilled. Yeah, they meant it. Okay, so this is good. This is dangerous for Microsoft. Well, not dangerous because Microsoft's been up so high. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. So on a weekly, yeah, once you run to 306, bottom line is that this is game until uh, like 296. And uh, they came up with, uh, no doubt, uh, some real cash, $70 billion for Activision, uh, VTI. And Activision, I uh, got, uh, no, let's see. ATVI. Okay, so Activision closed last night at, uh, well, not last night, Friday. It closed Friday at uh, 65. It's at 82. You know, that being said, you know, Tommy was bringing up this in, uh, this morning uh, on a show. Uh, it's, it's pretty wild that <laughs> all of that has done is get Activision back to where it was trading uh, July. You know, so the bottom line is that, uh, yeah, they're, they're, Picking up a gaming company, you know, they've been in the gaming company for, a, and gaming business for a long time. There's no, they got the Xbox, the whole ball of wax. Uh, so they're picking up another $9 billion in general revenue, $3.83. Uh, yeah, that'd be right. That'd be right. Um, so we'll see where that, we'll see where that whole thing's going to go. Let's go take a look at uh, a couple of these gold. So uh, GFI first, uh, what you have with GFI. This thing is down on volume. Now, check this out. So I, what happens, folks, is this. The, if you have a South African equity, you, you want to basically, before our market's open, you can go to the Johannesburg Exchange. It doesn't cost anything. You can pull up how they're trading. And, you know, this, this morning, now, if you're watching Tiger TV, this is GFI in South Africa. And it was, well, they were all getting smoked this morning. But GFI and Anglo Ashanti were getting smoked more. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, and when it, about halfway through the day, four o'clock, yeah, about halfway through the day, uh, it started coming back somewhat. But the bottom line is it does have big volume. If we go to the U.S. and we take a look at it, um, a few of these, we'll see whether they're going to break the swing. You know, the GFI, uh, it's nine million right now coming into 10.3. That's how this baby's set up. And 10.3 uh, is 1024, and this actually couldn't get as low as 954. The 954 is the gap. Uh, Anglo Ashanti is the same type of setup. And what, what is interesting is that, and, and I own both of them, by the way, is that Anglo Ashanti and GFI, they both trade the same. When they're going topside, they both have really strong. When they go downtown, they get smoked. Um, Anglo Ashanti is the same setup, man. Um, you know, this is kind of, this is dangerous. Uh, you're going into the swing, the swing is 1869. You're at 1850. You know, you don't get a rejection at a lower price. You're going to be down there at. Uh, oh, I see what it's doing. Still, has too much volume. It's what it's doing is going into the highs of the lows that were generated out here on the third of November. But volume-wise, there's still way too much volume. SCC Oak, Southern Copper. We take a look at Southern Copper. Copper broke topside. Southern Copper broke topside also. And if we put this on a weekly, what you have set up here, you know, might take a Southern Cup, wants to make this run down to 83. You're at 68. You, you broke topside. You had volume on the break. We did 6.6 uh, .6 million uh, versus 7.8. Now, that is lighter than the last time we were up there, but, you know, it's not bad, okay? It's backing down a bit. Probably has to build a little more cause to get up to higher price. If we go and we take a look at the active cop, copper contract, that's trading at 439. And this one here, I believe that this still wants higher price because the amount of volume we did a lot. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we broke topside last week with 107,000 contracts. You, you're coming back to the breakout area with 84,000. That says higher price coming at you. Freeport Mac Moran, FCX. This is the largest gold and copper company in the world, okay? Pretty intense if you combine them. Uh, okay, I see what happened here. Okay, this took out the highs today, didn't hold price, pulled back, put it on the weekly. 
And then, okay, let's see what we got. It's going to need 191. Okay, so you're going to need more volume to bust this high of uh, 4603. You can see 4670. We went to 4670. Forty six oh two is the number. And we did well we did it last week with hundred million. Your swing there though has hundred and ninety one. So yeah, we're gonna need more volume. That's that's the bottom line. Yeah, it's it's pushing out a little um shooting star. And what happens with shooting stars, folks, they love to get uh tested. The uh Let's see, what else we got in here? Microsoft, oh, J.P. Morgan. So let's look at these ones, man. This is kind of twisted, but it's, that, you're talking about down fast and furious. You know, on Thursday, J.P. Morgan was 169. You're at 151. And, you know, bottom line was game here is that 150's game. Put this back. Yeah, the bottom of the consolidation is 150. 145, actually. This is going to the bottom of the consolidation. When you, when you come off this hard, that's the bottom of the consolidation happening. What's intriguing about this, though, for sure, is that, you know, what, what they have is this. Okay, so inside of the financials, they should be making money hand over fist because every 1%, so th this is the number Bloomberg did an article of, every 1% for Bank of America and J.P. Morgan is worth $5 billion to the bottom line. That's, that's how much that they are geared, geared meaning that what ends up happening as the percentage rates go up, how fast they can make money. So, and what happens there, just so you, you can, let me walk you through how this works. So you, you have a couple different deals that are happening. You have the aspect that we put our money in the bank and then they get more money for the product, right? We might get like one-tenth of one percent more. The big deal about the banks, the way they can make so much money, is that they have plenty of variable commercial loans. And a variable commercial loan, the way it works, folks, okay, is it's coming off the 10-year, and as that 10-year goes up, the bottom line, it resets. That's, that's how the, the deal gets done, and that's where they make money hand over fist. So there's a whole different aspect happening. I suspect that aspect that's happening is that because of the help situation, Goldman Sachs, their expenses went through the roof. All of them are going to go through the roof, bottom line. So you got higher expenses. Even if you do have higher gross, bottom line, to the bottom line, it's probably going to be less. Dow Industrials down 514, NASDAQ off 357, S&P's off 81. Stay right there. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 557. We get the Nasdaq off 372. S and P's are off 87. Let's go to our man John in Philly. John, what's going on, brother? Well, happy New Year to you, Tom. And happy New Year to you. Let's make it a great one, man. Thank you, Tom. I uh, I've been remiss in intending to call you the past oh seven eight days and uh, just forgot to. So uh, I'm calling about Comex Gold. Okay. And uh, all I'm calling about is to restate something you stated back on Friday, January 7. And it's worth repeating, because we don't hear it enough. It doesn't come into play all that often, but it's very powerful when it does. And what you said on Friday, uh, January 7th, I think COMEX gold, the gold, uh, excuse me, the February futures closed, I think, 1799 or so. And, yeah, that was a jobs day. And on that date, you made mention of the low of Friday the 7th, 1781.3. And you remarked and observed that that low was the exact high of the low bar back on December 15th, which was a Fed day. Yes. And, Tom, of course, you know I've been listening to TFNN since I first stumbled upon you guys on Boston Streaming Radio back in 2005. And dating way back then, I did hear you regularly speak of, say, pullbacks that come into the high of a low bar. And that's your terminology. I know what that right. means specifically. You might restate that for your audience. But as a trading tool, it's just one of those little tools that doesn't come into play often, but can be very powerful in giving confidence to act when, you, uh, when you're provided low risk, as was the case back on Jobs Day, Friday, uh, January 7th. So I just highlight that. You, those are your words I'm highlighting, not mine. Uh, I don't use that enough. And saying this publicly to you on your show is kind of my way of uh, embedding that in my memory to use that as a trading tool when it does come into play. Yeah, no, listen, John and folks, and when you, when you check this out enough, right, the markets love to do this for some reason, man. It's crazy, uh, but they do. And just as you said, you know, it does give you better confidence um, to get a position because what was going on that day also, folks, I mean, you know, gold's down today. All the gold equities are down. Gold's not down that bad. But what did happen is this, is that when that came down, what was also happening is that the gold equities weren't down. So it was really intriguing. It was like, okay, man, pay attention to this. So you got the little pop. Yeah. It's, 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 I, I like how that operates. That's the real bottom line. You know what I mean? It's like it, that day there was insane because it was right to the penny. So it's like, okay, how does this really work? Which we don't know, of exactly, course. Exactly, you know? exactly. Yeah. Som sometimes the numbers do just uh, uh, just make you go, wow. But, uh, you know, I've uh, been a client of yours and used your uh, work and tools for years, as I stated. And I've seen that phenomena come into play 
repeatedly in not only futures, but in individual equities. Yeah, so I know. It's just Pay attention man. to and look for if that setup uh, presents itself. Yeah, totally, man. Thanks well, so much, Tom. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. And if we take a look at this market right now, so let's go inside the NDX 100 and see the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. So inside the NDX right now, Activision is the top uh, mover. That's up 25%. You got EA Sports. That makes sense. Up 2.7%. Pindoldoo is up 2%. Taken away from it. AMAT. AMAT down 8.5%. Moderna is down 8.5%. You got Lucid Motors off 7.5%. You got Clack off 7%. So let's go to AMAT first. So... The volatility has gone exponential here, there's no doubt. Um, AMAT broke topside last week. Well, see, this is going to be interesting, man. So AMAT broke topside with volume last week, okay? And then you're backing down with $2 million right now. That's not a big deal, folks. Yeah, so the volatility certainly has gone up. There's no doubt about that. Now, let's go over the SPY because what's going to get really interesting here is this. this. The way the SPY is setting up, the SPY... Yeah, not as much. Let me see the NDX. One second. What I was about to say is that they look to me like they're lost in golfings. I guess it looks like more so the futures. What happens with the lost in golfing folks in the in candlestick charting is that you started out, yeah, so the futures have it. Okay. So what happens with, with a lost in golfing is this. It's, it, it looks wicked bearish, but it actually isn't. And what it is, is that you start higher, you go all the way lower all day. Now, this has to be done after a downtrend. You don't want to see this at the beginning. Well, at the beginning, it's just a give up on price, okay? Um, oh, look what I just found. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so, wow. I don't think we're done going up yet, folks, and I'll tell you why. And... I'm just still talking about a counter trend bounce. If you happen to be watching Tiger TV right now, these three bars, these are three black crows, man. So watch this. The first black crow came out on, on January 5th. That's when we went from 47.88 to 46.89. So you went down almost 100 points, okay? Second one came on the 13th. We went from 47.36 to 47.46.42. 90 what is that, nine, um, yeah, 94 points. And today, guess what? 4671, the 4561, bottom line, 110 points, same setup. Now, this is how three black crows work. They're really hard to do, number one. And these, 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 are, these symmetrically everything about them are like right there. So three black crows, folks, okay, is a telling sign that we are at highs. That's the first part. Second part's more intriguing, and what it is, three black crows love to get tested. That's the bottom line. We might go a little bit lower, and you're gonna see one more surge upside, and that next surge upside, get, everyone's gonna do what they wanna do. You wanna sell the heck out of this market. Because, let me see this. So that's in the e ES. Let me see if it's in the NQs also. And the NQs, it's not as clean. But the, you have them, you know. And Yeah, you have them. I mean, we go back to uh, the 5th. You went from 16,269 to 15,750. So, my God, what is that? That's, uh, that's 500 points. Then we went down last week on Thursday... 900, we went down 500, and from the highs to the lows today, you did, uh, just under 450. Three black girls also, so we'll see where this baby shakes out, but when, when, and no, they don't have to be consecutive. Um, that was a great question, for sure. What happens is that you want them this is one of the cleanest ones I've actually seen in a long period of time. That, that's, that's the reality. Most times, they don't have, they're not as symmetrical, meaning you've gone down as many points. 
Dow Industrials right now are down at 504, NASDAQ's down 347, S&Ps are off 78. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to our man John in St. Petersburg, Florida. John, what's going on, brother? John. Yes, sir. How you doing, man? Good. How you doing, Tom? Good, thank you. So you want to look at Matador? Yeah. So let's take a look at Matador. The symbol, folks, is uh, MTDR. Uh, this is an independent uh, energy company. The lows 1390, the highs 4749. That's today. So do you own this? Are we looking to buy it? What are we doing? Yeah, I bought it around seven bucks uh, back when it dipped real bad in 2020, and now I'm, I'm looking for an exit point. Wow, that's quite a score. So, I'd move some of it out right now, man. I mean, you know, this is this this has this. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's just gone from a dollar fifty four in twenty twenty to forty three dollars. Yeah, I, I, it was just one of those things that I kind of had sitting in my E Trade account, and I I didn't really pay much attention to it. And then today I was looking through there to see what I had because I knew oil was making a run. So I, I thought I would look and then I noticed I had quite a gain on it. Yeah. I'd sell at least half of it, man. Okay. That it, sounds good, Tom. And hey, real quick, what software are you using here on the show? It's a Bloomberg. Bloomberg? Yes. Great. Hey, thanks for the info. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. 
And Take market care, wise, Mike. folks, uh, this baby, this S and P is closing at its lows, man. I mean, uh, we're down a hundred. Well, no, we, we're down ninety. But we got uh, what? Four minutes left. Yeah, five minutes left. Uh, e S H. Let me just pull this baby up. And that's, hey, we'll see where this baby shakes out. Yeah, it's pushing right into the lows again. And now the way this is going to be set up. Yeah, it's, it's, you get the three black crows, that's for sure. And you also, you know, you got a lost engulfing here. So this is going to be intriguing watching this whole, whole thing shake out, man. Uh, volume wise, what we have out here. Let's see what we got in the spy. Uh, so inside of the spy, get 91 million. Gonna close at the lows, man. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show. Look at him, folks. Building